All right, so it's uh, it's not that cold out, but I'm still I'm still wearing my Batman hat, and I, and I got my man George Newell. Uh, it's been a busy week for me, and I don't want to talk any horses. I don't <laughs> talk any USDA stuff. So um, uh, you 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 got a second job? Yes, I do. You've been a uh, what, what's your technical sous chef, right? Or no, yes. sous chef. So give everybody the the official definition. A sous chef yeah, it's, is it's, somebody it's, that's pretty much overseeing everything. Yeah, um, that, so so you you know what you're doing in the kitchen for the most part. So let, let's talk <laughs> at about. Least some, I, at least I think I do. Let's talk about some food. Um, uh, let, let, let's break down some recipes. So, uh, what kind of restaurant do you work in? Actually, I'm not at a restaurant. I'm at a facility called Stonebrook Hospital. Okay. So, ha have you always worked at that? Like, how long have you worked at there? Twenty five years. Oh, so, okay. So, so favorite dish? Like, do you guys do specialties over there? Um. At times we do, yeah. Okay, so so what do you get to do? You get to pick the specialties. No, no, you don't. No. Twenty five years, you don't get to pick a specialty. No. All right, so what? Do you have a specific dish or, or or uh, ethnicity or what? What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, flavor that you like to cook. Well, I like. Um, what's George's favorite recipe? Plain no, and simple. George doesn't really have a favorite recipe uh, or anything like that. Um, I enjoy cooking, of course, Jamaican uh, food. Okay, okay. If I have to um, can, exclude can, can we that. Talk, wait, wait, if, let, all right, let's talk about that. So, so there, there we go. So, so I love, I love Jamaican beef patties. Who doesn't? Okay. If you don't like Jamaican beef patties, turn off this interview now. And that's simple because it's just pretty much ground beef. You just season that up and then you Talk have a dough. Talk about the seasoning. Tell me about the seasoning. The season is no different, um, but we we'll, you use pepper, hot pepper, the um, like scotch bonnet would probably be like the most famous one in Jamaica. Okay, okay. Ground that up? Yeah, you may want to ground it up without the seeds because the without seeds, the seeds, okay. The seeds is the, hot, the, the seeds. hot part, okay. You know, with any kind of pepper. But what really. if you want the? What if you want the? Like, like when I cook chili, I put the jalapeno peppers, the seeds right in that. Well, you see, jalapeno is a lower grade, you know, so you're gonna get oh, that okay, taste. You're okay. gonna get, you're gonna get a lot of heat. So you get the heat and the taste. So you're so saying what I'll do more, more likely is I de the pepper, okay, and then I probably throw, depending on how much I make it. A little bit of Couple the pepper is, flakes, okay. and then I grind it up. Okay, so you don't do anything with the seeds, or is that maybe you wait till the seeds are last, throw a little hotness in you there? You want to know what you're dealing with because there's one thing about heat, you can't take it out. Okay. Once it's That's done, you true. can't take it out. Just like That's salt, true. salt's like the last thing you want to add to any kind of thing that you incorporate incorporating because you can't take that out. You can't take that out. So right. so you want to, uh, so are you grinding the, the peppers up? How, how are you cooking them up? Do you cook them and then grind them or like? Well, what you do, you just seed them, you dice them. You could either saute them a little bit okay. or not. And again, I'm, depending on the amount that you're cooking, you just add the seeds according to your likings. Okay. You know, a person like me like a hot, so I'll just throw everything in you there. You throw everything right in there. Absolutely. Okay, so, so you you mix that all up in the beef and then what about the what about the crust in the dough? Like, do you, the, do you make that yourself? You can, or you can take a shortcut, go to the pizzeria. Go to the pizzeria. Oh, the, so you use pizza dough? Yeah. Well, okay, so, so my grandfather was Italian. He did all the cooking, you know, he, he rolled out the, the pasta on his 
table and uh, dining room table and stuff like that. But then it's new age. So we just, like you said, he went to he went to Shoprite and got some uh, got you know he'll get the pasta, yeah, he'll get, get the, the pie crust. Yeah. So is the pastry worth cooking by yourself or just go to the store and get it? Well, you know it all depends. Like if everything is time consuming when you're doing things from scratch. Okay. So you got the yeast, the water, right. the measuring. You know, then you got to sit there and let it rise. So it is time consuming, but. In this day and age, who has time to do all of that? You take more pride in the seasoning and, and, and the ground beef, right? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So, so you're, you're filling the patty up. Uh, anything else? You, like some, well, you, patties, some patties have vegetables in them. Some, some, yeah, what do you like to do? I just like the regular beef, chop you, beef. You just yeah, like I'm pat- not really into, like, you know, if, if that's the case, I'll probably make a shepherd's pie if I want vegetables okay. and all okay. that. Love the mercy. Sweet, sweet, sweet,